God bless y'all on this wonderful day. God bless y'all. Welcome, believers and educators of the divine, living in the universe in which God has created. Like I say, um, I've been so hard. I've been so hard on some of you, and 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 please don't take this, don't take offense to anything that I say, because I'm only human being. How many of us? How many? Think to yourself. How many of us have not said um, things that were offensive? You know, for those of you who support me, for those of you who have my best interest, I do want to apologize sincerely for being somewhat judgmental or being somewhat over the top. And when I say, when I say I'm G-O-D, man, that's, that's not saying I'm the most high God. That's saying I'm God body. I'm God body. I'm a part of the body of God, part of the body of Christ, man. I'm a cussing Christian, man. Excuse my language. Most of most of you grew up around people that cuss and stuff like that. And just because you cuss don't mean you a bad person. You can actually cuss and um, be a better person than someone who doesn't cuss. Based on how you treat people personally up front in face based on how you hold the door, based on how you um, see a kid on the edge of a, a pool or a edge of a, 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 a pond or something and, and, and you shield them from falling in. You know, just simple stuff like that, that you do. But they'll judge you for cussing or something. So please don't judge me and I won't judge you. You know what I mean? Um, I don't desire to have all the money in the world I really don't The things I desire are priceless The things you desire The things you should pray for You should pray for things that are priceless We all should When you pray for things that are priceless That are godly when you pray for things that are heaven-like or that are of the heavens, everything else will come. I'm the type of person that, for some reason, and some of you are as well, for some reason, Your good outweighs your bad, but you feel guilty for doing stuff for yourself. It's like you 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 want to do stuff for yourself. Like, man, I want this, I want that, I want that. But when it comes time to actually do stuff for yourself and you do it, it's like you feel guilty. And you thinking about the people who you could help, but they thinking like, man, if I had that, I'd take care of me. This ain't for nobody. I'm holding all mine. But you just a naturally giving person. And as soon as you slip up and do something, not even slip up, but do something for yourself or, hey, I want to do this for myself. People get mad at you. Don't feel guilty about doing stuff that makes you happy, man. Women, don't feel stuff. Don't, don't feel guilty about doing stuff that makes you happy. But continue to be a kind, loving, giving person. Don't give your all away. But be a kind, loving, and giving person. The person who gives the most is the person who receives the most. 
Money is important. Yes, money is important. But you don't always have to give in the form of money. You could give in the form of lessons. Give in the form of truth. You could give in the form of love. But my main message is to uh to you guys is to um don't don't pray for money. Don't pray for money. I mean it's okay to talk about money and say how you're gonna save your money and take care of things with your money, but don't pray for money. Don't pray for money. Pray for things of this world or things of the heavens that are priceless. That money can't buy. Pray to be him. Pray to be her. Pray for pricelessness. Peace out.